Hey guys, in this video, I'm basically going to inform you what I plan on doing for my next video playlist. And since a lot of people, as you can see on the screen, are interested in Framer stuff, learning Framer, creating maybe landing pages or sites using Framers, or just being acquainted with the interface, what we're going to be doing in this whole playlist is we're going to be creating our own Framer template. And as we create the template, obviously I'm going to go slowly and I'm gonna explain things to you and we're going to learn how to do that. But by the end, what I ideally want is, by the end of the video, I'm basically gonna have my own template up that I can go ahead and sell. And I can show you what that process looks like. So you can actually go to go and sell your own templates as well. I got this idea from Olior online and he's a fantastic content creator. I personally follow him from my main profile as well. If other people would like to check him out, definitely go ahead and check him out. And he is more successful than me when it comes to monetary success. He has a lot of passive income streams. He has a lot of ideas on pa generating passive income. So definitely do check him out. One idea that he pointed out was my next passive income idea, Framer template themes. Now, props to that guy, props to all year because I'm really a huge fan. And what he's done is something that I would never be able to do. He basically went ahead and created a template like this and he sold it for 49 or he's selling it for $49. Now, if we look at the template itself, there's nothing really much here. So apart, I wouldn't like, I'm not saying that I wouldn't be able to create this template because anyone can go ahead and create this template. It's so basic. Like I'm not dissing him, but I mean, he has the confidence to believe in himself and actually achieve whatever he wants to achieve. Because as I mentioned, he's more successful than me monetarily. But basically he has like this simple homepage that has a CMS list at the top, CMS list at the bottom, a very simple footer. If we go to the blog section, so you have basically the blog, you have the CMS list item arranged like this. You have the contact page, which basically has three inputs, a text area, a button, and then the globe rotating. Nothing really much here. He definitely did not design this globe in my opinion by himself. He just placed it. So if we were to design something like this, it wouldn't be hard. We would just go to Framer, we will press command N to create a new page. And then here we can just go ahead and start adding items. We can say, okay, this is going to be my header similar to the header that he's inserted. I'm gonna create a sample CMS. And once that's done, it's already gonna create like a blog page for us. Okay, that's done. So if we go to his blog page, we basically have three items side by side and the blog text is on the left. I mean, no big deal, right? Because we can just go ahead to this particular uh, thing. We can say, okay, this is going to be a grid. It's gonna have three items side by side nothing really much going on. The width of this whole container needs to be 1000 pixels. We are gonna grab this item. We're gonna say this is going to flow vertically, select this, lock it. We're gonna say it's gonna be one FR. I don't, I'm not teaching you Framer right now. I'm basically showing you how to create something as basic as this and how much confidence that that guy has to actually host this, host a template like this for let's say $59 when I mean, and I'm gonna talk about this a bit more, but you can then go ahead and actually insert the header here, the navigation at the top, go here, and then bas basically pin it at the top. And this is your blog page done similar to what he's done. And we can create the footer if we want to, but now, and the work page is very similar. You basically have two items instead of three items. If you wanna tweak it, you can just go and decrease the number of columns and that's it. Nothing really much. If we go to the home page, we're gonna basically do the same thing. Then basically go to the collection list, insert it, insert another collection list, this one is just gonna span completely. So I'm gonna say it's gonna be one FR. All of the items inside of it are gonna be a stack and they're gonna span vertically. This particular thing needs to be a bit smaller in height. That's done. Uh, and then obviously we need to do the work to actually get it animated and stuff. I mean, that those are a few things that perhaps are a bit, can take a bit more time, but anyone, like I'm basically creating this basic page layout that he's done in let's say 10 minutes, right? I don't necessarily need a lot of time to do that. And then when we're talking about adding those animations, it's perhaps gonna take another hour or something at max, I guess. Similarly, we can go to this, we can say, okay, this particular section, or sorry, the home section here just has three items at the bottom. So we won't need to limit the CMS to three items. We just basically do CMS. It's automatically gonna limit it to three items. They need to be side by side. We need a button here. We can just go ahead and like, sorry, we can just press I. I'm just too addicted with Webflow right now. And then we can search for a button here. We can say button, here's a button. We can obviously go ahead and tweak the style or update the style of this button, do whatever. And you basically have a very simple page like this created. There's nothing really much. And what really amazes me about Olior is how successful he is because 
he has the confidence and i want you and even me myself to actually have the confidence to create things like this which actually just defeat logic because if i go to let's say the framer templates that are available there are a lot of or tons of framer templates that are free for example this one is free i'm going to go to this one and as you can see it has tons of like again it has a design obviously a, a more complex design it has a ton of free pages as well. All of these pages are free, landing pages, multiple landing pages, multiple about sections, multiple contacts, multiple features, multiple blogs, multiple legal pages, I think, or something like a few legal pages, multiple pricing pages, change log, 404, style guide, you name it. And this is free. So I mean, my logic would say if someone's selling a template like this for free, you definitely need to do something to actually get ahead of them to sell something for, let's say, $20 or even $50 or $100. But Allure basically helps us understand how important it is believing in yourself and just doing things for the sake of it. Like even if that particular template doesn't sell and I'm not saying it won't sell, it may actually sell much better than some of the free templates because he has an audience. If you have an audience, you can definitely market anything you want. So it's definitely important to build an audience and have that confidence in yourself. So what we're going to be doing in this whole video is I'm gonna take his idea not his particular template idea, his particular template. I mean, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating our own feature template that we're going to actually sell for a price. And it's gonna have a ton of features. It's gonna have a bunch of animations. It's gonna be really fancy. And in that journey of creating that template, we're actually going to go together on this, fig on this framer journey. I keep on saying Figma. On this framer journey to actually start learning to use framer to creating these awesome and complex templates and stuff along those lines and then actually then going ahead and making money from it so i hope you're as excited as i am about this particular playlist and i'm going to see you in the next video and one more thing before that if you need to save your time as designers rather than consuming content all day on youtube following your designers or influencers on twitter linkedin whatever you need to subscribe to my the optimal designer newsletter that i'm actually going to link in the description that's basically going to help you get rid of the noise and stay up to date while focusing on your work on all things design related, whether these are tools, plugins, Framer, Figma, Webflow, anything design related basically.